Raise up that glorious church, Lord, that Paul talks about. Where we're strong in the power of your might. We're bold as lions. Where our voice will travel out and we will speak truth and change the places where we are. Lord, raise up a new generation of people in our different mindset. Awaken us, Holy Spirit. Start in our hearts. Awaken us. Awaken us, God. Well, I've already told you, you're going to see signs. You're going to see things happen in this earth that will confound others. They'll wonder why are these happening in this, in this earth? Why is there this shaking? Why are the things going on that are going on that we've not seen before? But my people, I've already told you. It's just the harbinger of me returning. But I want you to know that even I don't know exactly when I'm going to return. My father has not even told me that. That's right. But I want you to know you have been given into my hand. <laughs> All of you have been given into my hand. You are not people who have no hope. That's right. You have the hope. Yes. The hope of my coming. Yes, yes. And know that my Father has said that no one can snatch you out of my hand. No one can snatch you out of my hand. Hallelujah. You're going to see things bleed through. You're going to see oh, things that break God. through. You're going to see leaders who take... The, the beast and his power. And it's going to bleed through right now. You're going to see those things that are going to be happening. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. He is already working in this earth. The power that will work through him is already working in this earth. So don't be surprised when you see these things happening. But you know that then you will be able to lift up your eyes yes. and say, Ah, oh, he's coming. Yes. yes. He's coming. Yes. He's coming soon. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. This is a time to be excited, my people. Hallelujah. This is not a time to be downcast. This is not a time to be wringing your hands. This is a time to lift your hands yes. and say, Yes. Yes, yes Lord. Hallelujah. Come quickly. Yes. Come quickly, Woo. Lord. But those without oh. hope, oh, oh they will say things that they, they think that everything is going to fall around them. And it will. But it's those things that they are standing on that will be shaken. Not what you stand on. Not what you stand on. Not who holds you. You will not be shaken. I make this promise to you. You will not be shaken. And you will not be deceived. Amen. There are many who will be deceived. My people. But you will not be deceived. Don't worry about that. Don't think, oh, what happens? What, 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 if, what if I'm deceived? What if I... You will not be deceived. Uh, hallelujah. You will see clearly because my spirit, my helper for you, will tell you clearly what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Yes. You will not be confused, my people. That is one of the things that the beast will do is he will send out confusion to see that he could even be able to confuse and deceive the elect. But I say it will not happen. I am the one who holds you in this time. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't fret about it. Know that I am and I have you and you will not be deceived and you will not be taken out of my hand. Good word. Good word. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Aren't you glad for the spirit of prophecy? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you for being obedient, brother. 
Hallelujah. I want you to I want you to say this phrase strong in the power of God's might. Say that. Strong in the power of God's might. Let's say it again. Strong in the power of God's might. Now God is saying, here, Penny. I, I maybe believe God's strong. Well, that's a dumb question. God is telling Penny here, you have my power. You have my strength. That's why we we don't have to fear anything that the enemy is going to create. That's right. We're always going to be led in triumph. But people in the other side of that coin is, if that's going to be true for you, you're going to have to be tough. You're going to have to be resilient. Well, there, there, is, there is so much in Scripture that talks about being strong and being diligent. And yeah, that's who we are, and that's what we're going to do. Hallelujah. Well, have you, have you got anything out of this? Yes. Glory to God.